Great news. You've got a job shooting some live theater. You've got three cameras. You're heading off to the theater. The question, where are you going to put them, hasn't really occurred to you because you're going to do the obvious thing. You're going to put them at the back of the theater. Sometimes that's a little more complicated than it sounds. Let's take a look at some examples. This is the biggest venue that I shoot at. It's about 2,500 people, and probably it's the easiest to set up cameras. Underneath this first balcony here is a walkway, and behind that is a sound booth. And oftentimes when I shoot, they close that area off so that this area here underneath, I can set up three cameras. Now the this I mean, the advantage of this situation is obvious, is that you don't get bumped or hassled. You get lots of room to move because this area is basically sealed off. Now, the cameras at this distance are using a lot of their zoom. So uh, what tends to happen is that... Um, you have to be very careful with your cameras so that you don't get a lot of shake. We've, you know, we've got um, uh, fluid heads and so forth, but still this is sort of the maximum that you want to go. Um, the other arrangement that could occur here is there's a little space um, in these spots right here, and you're not blocking anybody's view because these are raised here. Um, this could be um, a good s situation in this case. I've never actually tried that, um, but we wouldn't have to do so much zoom. Um, in this case, we're separated, so we can't compare our f stops or anything like that. Um, I have shot from right in here. Uh, when I was working as a cameraman for another company, uh, but we had to block off seats and obscure people's line of sight. It wasn't a good choice really at all. This particular theater is, seats about 1,800. This is a much more challenging um, situation here. I don't know if you can uh, tell, but uh, from these gentlemen that are standing on the stage to the back, there isn't a lot of rake in this audience seating area, so that creates some problems. Uh, I can get one camera in here, but I have to be careful that I don't obscure the vision of these people in here. So th the camera is much lower than um, I think is ideal, and as soon as these people stand up and start walking around, well, they're, they're cutting that camera off. Uh, but you can't really get it any higher, and there's not really room uh, without obscuring vision here uh, on either side of this center row. So one of the solutions here is to go to the first balcony and normally um, I've shot primarily dance recitals in here. So on this upper balcony usually all I have in here is some dancers sort of waiting to come on. So it's not a busy spot and um, I can um, get some nice separation. Uh, I have also um, tried this arrangement where this is uh, not on the, it's slightly raised above here. There's a little bit of a step up here and there's a little wa uh, spot on either side of the house here. Um, the unfortunate part of this arrangement is this angle is very steep so that, uh, or very, um, uh, a sharp angle to the stage. So that looks a little odd. Uh, the other thing is up here, you've got, you're up high, so you've got, your shots are coming down like this. So you've got a choice between um, kind of an odd angle coming from above or coming from the side. This is another space I use. Um, this one um, is nice from the point of view 
um, we basically take up residence in this center box on the main floor right here. Now, the disadvantage of this is um, the uh, group loses six seats out of this particular thing by giving this to us. Um, it's nice because we don't get bumped or jostled or we have a nice comfortable place to work, but these camera angles are very, very similar. So it's hard to get some real separation here. Um, I used to be able to get a camera here and a camera over here, um, but uh, with a, a different kind of management and more paranoia about fire regulations, they're afraid that um, these positions here would obscure um, people's ability to leave the theater in case of a fire. Uh, I have on one occasion placed one camera here and another one. This is a three-layer balcony on the second layer shooting down like this. Um, that worked all right because it was um, not, nor, uh, not live theater. It was a presentation by a, um, a special speaker and um, it didn't really look that odd, but for live theater, I don't think it would really work. Now, this is a dinner theater arrangement, a uh, dinner theater that I work at a number of times, I have worked at over the years. Um, it looks very wide and uh, shallow, and it is. Uh, these are all tables and chairs and whatever. Uh, you can't put a camera in here because you got this control booth and these uh, waiters and uh, waitresses are charging back and forth behind here. Uh, there's a little gap on this side that I can manage to get a, a wide angle camera in here. And then uh, I'm shooting uh, from over here where there's usually a gap between some of these tables and over here. It's a bit wide, um, but it's all you can manage in a situation like that. It looks like there's tons of space over here, but it, it, essentially there, is, there are walls there, so you can't use that. And, you know, it does look like you could put something here, but uh, you're going to obscure these uh, tables up here. There is a slight... Uh, I don't have any interior shots of this, but the, the, there is a slight difference in levels, but it's not, um, it's not a lot. This is um, one of the high schools that I shoot at. This is not a perfectly accurate picture of what the house looks like, but there is enough room just barely at the back of this last row so that I can get the three cameras in here. Um, it is a little uh, tight for moving around. Sometimes the audience members in here will stand up and stand right in front of a camera, whatever, but uh, it's not too bad. If um, you're thinking that you could go to here and here, you can, but you're getting into kind of extreme angles. And uh, this um, situation here, I can't move these too close here because this wall gets in as you get closer to the end of this aisle, it gets tighter and tighter. So I end up with a situation like this. Um, this is another high school, and uh, I used the same picture. There is no space, absolutely no space back here. So uh, this camera actually has to be in the seating area. And... Um, I have to take up one of the seats. Uh, actually, I usually take up three seats here. And because there's no space in here, I would have to take up more seats. This particular school, you know, th their shows are really popular, so that they pack the house and uh, they need every seat they can get. Well, so I uh, tend to move the cameras here and here. There is kind of a closed off space and there's an entrance that they can operate from here. So there's a little space up here and up here. Now the angles are pretty 
uh, extreme, which is not ideal, but it actually um, uh, is okay. This is a situation that um, I've run into a number of elementary school performances, and they use their gymnasium. And this particular situation, uh, this particular arrangement of seating is actually pretty common. Um, because the, the gymnasium is flat, um, in order to get the most amount of seating in, what they do is they often they'll put the gym mats in and around this area here, then they have some chairs and they allow the standing room around the outside. Now this looks like theater in the round, but usually these people, um, these students here, don't have the training or whatever to uh, what's called opening up. They're not going to face this direction or this direction. So you might think, well, I'm going to put a camera over here or at the back here. But they basically present straight to the back here. So having three cameras here, uh, because it's flat, what I have to do is um, I have to put these uh, cameras on their the highest position on the tripod. Usually I'm using um, a floor spreader on this and um, I'm taping the, the tripod down so that people don't uh, uh, bump into it. Uh, I often have some lights on here. These uh, as well are up at the highest point and I'm uh, the camera operators are standing on little um, step ladders so they can attempt to get over the heads of all these people to shoot this area here. It is a very challenging uh, situation. Uh, it can be very frustrating too. And, you know, I, I find in this kind of situation, we have lots of problem with people shooting um, their own videos with cell phones and iPads and they're holding them up over their head and you've got this light coming back and this it's a terrible situation but um, yeah, you just kind of make the best of it. Anyway, I hope you got something from taking a look at some of these situations. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the area below. Thank you very much for watching.